know, it's all exciting. It's a weird thing, I've seen the music videos of like, I'm working on this thing and by the time it gets to the audience, like it's gonna go through the band and then it has to go through distribution and all the other bullshit and by the time it's live, I'm not excited, I'm already on to the next thing. Onto so it's this thing. weird like balance. Have you been able to like feel all the love? I feel like social media has been dominated, like the whole state has lit up in support of the record. Oh, it's, it's, it's unreal. Mm -hmm. Like the amount of love that we've been able to get and stuff. Uh, it's, I, I don't know, man. It's surreal. Yeah. And uh, I, I just appreciate it too. Cause you know, there, and there's a level of, you know, you go like, I hope people like this. Mm -hmm. And just because, you know, there was so many years of grinding where nobody cared. Yeah. Like, you know, people see like where we're at now, but sometimes forget the last decade mm -hmm. plus you know, yes. it's been like a decade of currents, but it's like, plus all of the shows that we played in front of nobody mm -hmm. and nobody cared. And, you know, you, we release things, you get excited and then and people are like, eh, and you're, you're like, okay, well on to the next thing. So it, I don't know if it's just kind of a learned thing mm -hmm. from all of those years of experience, but there's just kind of like, you know, cause I, I don't think it's healthy either to lean too much into the positivity either it's just as much as it's unhealthy to lean into the negative yeah. aspects of thing. Like you could have a thousand people tell you you're the greatest. And then one person being like, you suck. And you're yeah. just going to be like, my day is ruined. Yeah. <laughs> and so it's, you can't really lean in. You just got to do your thing. My phrase is I'm always so bad at smelling the roses. So in the context of an album release, it's like, I'm proud of these 12, 10 songs. I believe mm -hmm. it's 10 songs. Right. Mm -hmm. Um, but yeah, I'm bad at pausing and taking in the person saying, I love this record and really relating to that where I'm sure as you're alluding to, it's like, no, you saw some comment of someone who said, oh, blah, 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 little detail was just not, eh, whatever. For sure. And that's the one that somehow got into your head instead of the 90 comments or hundreds of comments saying, no, this was great. This was incredible. This was awesome. Yeah. Um, do you find like you're able to, yeah, the record's kind of been, the single's been out for a while. Like I feel like you guys are used to it by now. Have you been able to like appreciate the love from it or is it just like, like, you, I guess the, as you were saying, you put out so many records that don't go anywhere. It's like the majority of our records releases have no audience. That is what we are used to. Mm -hmm. And in the last couple of years, you can look at the last Currents record and say, it did well. And I think this is in the same tune and it seems like the next evolution of it. So in some sense, you know, it's going to go well, but you're conditioned of like, no, these never go well. This never does go well. For sure. To, to a point, uh, when we were recording, there was definitely a sense of, I feel like we're doing something special. Mm -hmm. Uh, we all have been doing this together now for so long that the process of it is like butter. It's just so easy to do. Awesome. And like a lot of like when we're in the studio doing stuff with each other, it's just kind of like one of the things we'll do is like, we'll just try to make each other laugh. Like it's so ridiculous. And like the part is so cool that we just have to laugh and we're like, this is awesome. Mm -hmm. You know? And, uh, it, it just having fun with it and, you know, making, making things not get stale. Yeah. You know? Are the five of you still in the studio together? I know you have the benefit of having Wiseman produce the record, mm -hmm. which is such a, a unique asset that someone in the band and also in the professional and like top tier side of mixing Oh, for sure. He, um, he's an incredible asset to have and an incredible friend and, but despite I mean, that, the five of you are still in the room together and mm -hmm. making music happen. Yeah. So like, you know, we'll all have like ideas at some point with things. And Chris ends up writing like the, the bulk of like the music, but he's one of his, the reason why the final products come out so well with him is because he's so good at uh, working with others. And like, so he'll have a song that's like 90% done and he'll be like, what do you guys think? And then we'll come in and we'll be like, I like this idea or, you know, try to add a little bit of like this and that here, add a little bit more personality. Cause like, I'm sure it's like looking at a photo or a video, you edit for so long that you get lost in it and you're like, I need a fresh perspective, mm -hmm. you know? And his ability to not let his own ego get into the way and listen to our ideas to put them into the songs is what I think where he like shines. That's cool. It's a really interesting and nuanced uh, trait to be so good at. Uh, when you're writing the song, I assume there's a moment where you go, this is what Currents would have done on the last record. And the last record went well, but we kind of want to take a chance here. How do you balance those two of like, yeah, if you just put out a new record, that's a brand new sound every time that doesn't mm -hmm. make sense. Like there needs to be some cohesion and through line. Uh, but also if you're in the studio saying, well, this went well last time, let's just do that. Then mm -hmm. that's worth nothing as well. Well, there's definitely a sense of like, we have a blueprint, mm -hmm. but it's also growing as an artist. 
So you're only going to be able to create with whatever tools you have in your bag. So you can't create your, your abilities to create anything new are going to be limited if you aren't growing as an artist. And that comes from just practicing and just trying new things. And you're like, oh, okay, so I, I did this a lot, but like, let's try this now. Cause like I've been, I learned a different song from another band and I thought this part was really cool and trying things like that. And then Chris also, uh, like experimenting with different tunings and you know we did a we did two songs with six string guitars which for the first time uh in current history <laughs> that's how it happened <laughs> and it's kind of crazy because i feel like they're two of like the heaviest so like some of the that's, heavier more technical like songs that's a really cool yeah. full circle moment yeah i would assume when currents is starting everyone is just getting to seven strings is kind of the new thing i'm sure yeah. eight strings has made its way in oh yeah uh, what two songs are they uh, I think So Alone and which other one? Started to put you on the spot. I'm so bad with song names. So I'm always dreading someone asking me about the same. Yeah, there's a, uh, <laughs> I forget what the other one. I know It'll So Alone is definitely yeah. in, in the in the six string. Hell yeah! Home. How is that as a as an instrumentalist? Like losing a string? With, I mean, I assume you're still. So using I that, still but... I prefer five string basses okay. over the four string, especially well, at least within like playing current songs. Mm -hmm. Uh, especially their songs with tapping and it's just really the spacing between the strings. Cause with a four string, sometimes like the spacing between mm -hmm. them will be like larger. And when I'm trying to do like a tapping part, my finger will just like miss the string. Yeah, and I yeah, just yeah. hit fretboard and I'm like, <laughs> and you're like, I, it's not what I was trying to do. Mm -hmm. That's a weird problem as you, uh, yeah, as you have the new record come out, it also means a new batch of songs to learn. And of course it's, you guys are not writing songs that are easy to learn. I'm sure it's a, a nightmare process or at some point there's a song that Chris sends you and you go, I would love that, but. Oh wow. yeah. Well, that, so that was one of, uh, when I, when I first joined the band, 